Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so I'm starving. I'm starving. So that's a little bit different than I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Right? And did you get a translation for that? Yeah, it was uh, mi miro de hambre. Okay, I'm dying. Well, I'm dying. I die of hungry. Yeah, I died of eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. When 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 did you use that, or when did you want to have to use that? Oh, uh, when yeah, just like an hour or two before dinner or supper uh -huh. or something. And mm -hmm. I just use it. Okay. So that. So great job. That's exactly what I was hoping somebody would do. It's like, <clears throat> so you're just living your life and you think, um, I don't know how to say that. I wish I could say that. I wish I could say I'm starving, right? Mm -hmm. And right. so you write that down in your journal. And then at some point you go Google or whatever. How do you say that? we've used i've used the translator that's fine that's fine and sometimes it doesn't quite get it that's right it a lot of times it doesn't quite get it right. most of the time it doesn't get it that's right <laughs> so <clears throat> so then what's the answer for that so then what what comes next you well, learn then I, pardon then I, the partner how does it how is it there changed? you go so you ask your partner and who was your yeah. partner for this one who was your partner michelle michelle yes. okay great uh where's michelle from she is from ecuador ecuador the ecuador okay yep. Muy bien. okay and and then so M michelle said to you <clears throat> me muere de hambre de hambre right Yes. Is that right, Asalia? Is that right? I'm dying of hunger. Me muero de hambre o me estoy muriendo de hambre. Me estoy muriendo de hambre. Okay. Here's Raquel también. Okay. Good. Mr. Roseboro's here in the house. Thank no. goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, let's see. And Anna just sent me a document. And so we're going to drag this down here. I guess I'm sharing tonight, Anna. Yes. Okay. You can do it again if you want to. You can do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, last week I was on the road. All right. <clears throat> Um, thank you. Anybody else have a uh, journal running and have, you know, somebody else hold up your hand. What's the last thing that you put in? Your, I'm going to go, I'm going to pick Bob. Okay. Cause he was the first one into the room tonight. <laughs> like 10 he minutes a, in. In. a little he bit too eager. Gone. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, this was for my class that I do with David and it was, um, we had to talk about the weather and I wrote por fin tenemos tiempos sin uh escarcha i was trying to say without frost okay with is that right i don't know frost i know <laughs> i know snow and i know ice <laughs> what is frost frost is anna there no oh anna's always here yeah i'm here yeah. escarcha no i mean no? yes and no <laughs> Um, Scarcha can be a good translation. Um, uh, fro frost. What did you say? Frost, frost, frost. right? Frost, frost. frost. Okay. Yeah, like on the pl on the plants. Yeah. Yeah, it will be um sin hielo. So without okay. ice, without without ice. ice. Okay, that's what I put originally. If, if the if the snow is, you mean the snow is on the plants, right? Yes. The frozen the, the, fr the frozen part is yeah okay por fin tenemos it, it, tiempo sin hielo sin nevada <laughs> sin nieve she's never seen this so <laughs> no it's it's nicaragua they don't they don't do that see right? see see no frost okay. uh -huh. you're yeah. very lucky anna i know <laughs> okay 
Uh, <laughs> Raquel tampoco probably never had any frost. Um, frost is kind of para los hispanohablantes. Frost is como el hielo de de um, de rocío, kind of on the wind. De rocío en, en los sí sí rocío. Islands. Mm -hmm. like ah, so there is no okay. Yeah, and yeah, seeing as carcha, it can be also you know, in that case. Especially on a windshield, you would see it, you know, on glass. Mm -hmm. It's heavy car. frost. Mm -hmm. It's like a thin layer of ice. See, see, see. Yes. Okay. Very thin. Okay. Very thin. Very cold. Okay. <laughs> so everybody else, this is how things happen, is like, we think about something we wish we could say. By definition, you know, it's kind of you're in a situation, I wish I knew how to say that. So then mm -hmm. you look it up, and then you confirm it with a native speaker. And they tell you how they would really say it. And you, <clears throat> and you write that down with your hand a pen and a paper, right? Because the act of writing this with your hand helps you remember it so much better than typing it on a computer or typing it in your phone, right? So this is why we kind of preach that at whatever level you're at, beginner or advanced, having a, a written journal is a really huge benefit. But I want to encourage you to take it one step further and in your journal also write down <clears throat> some of your short-term and long-term goals, okay? Like um, maybe you're a missionary and you have, you're going to visit a Spanish-speaking country in four months and you, you gotta you gotta master this much before four months okay that's a big goal well if you break that down okay so what is it that you want to learn this week right and so in your journal if you write down you know the date of your mission trip or the you know or you know i, I don't know there's so many examples right okay but the point is that <clears throat> All of us have kind of a different motivation. And this difference between I want to speak Spanish versus I need to speak Spanish mm -hmm. is, is so motivating, right? Okay. And so um, <clears throat> try and give yourself that motivation by writing it down. Okay. So that's, that's my uh, soapbox for tonight. Okay. All right. Thank cool. you, James. Yeah, cool beans. All right. Um, any problems, questions? You know, we our, our goal here is to help whoever just move forward. All right. Any roadblocks at the moment? <laughs> All good? Todo bien? Um, sí. yeah. Okay. All right. Mr. Roseboro, what are we doing tonight? <laughs> Okay, uh, what we're doing is working with the basically the infinitive versus the gerund. Now there's a lot more examples. It's, it's mainly dealing with the infinitive, but the reason why is because um, for for example, for uh, there are a lot of things that you have to reverse your your thinking. Um, like for example, the gerund can't be used as a noun for it, for it you know, as, as an example. Um, also. So by that, uh, you mean like, like I like skiing or I like. Yes, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like cooking or cooking is a gerund, just for everybody that doesn't know the technical terms. Uh, cooking is a, is a, ger is a gerund, cocinando, yeah. that's, that's a gerund. Um, also, there are certain things we can do in English that we can't do in Spanish, for example, uh, well, more flexibility with certain things with the gerund. In, in English, we can use the present progressive, for example, to talk about things that we're going to do in the future. Like, for example, uh, I can say, I'm working tomorrow. 
Okay, but that would be incorrect. It would be incorrect to say to say estoy trabajando mañana. I can't I can't say that. Um, um, you know, somebody for example, just just give a quick example. Uh, you know, if I uh, ask you, are you working tomorrow? I can say trabajas mañana or uh, vas a trabajar mañana, but I can't say estás trabajando mañana. I can't say that. But in English, I can say, are you working tomorrow? Do you work tomorrow? Are you going to work tomorrow? for example. Also, uh, another thing is when it comes to prepositions, uh, there are a lot of prepositions. The main ones are de, uh, the ones probably the most common are de, uh, a, and in. Well, after a preposition, you can't use the gerund. You have to use an infinitive. Okay. Um, and you, as far as like a noun, like say, for example, we can say like running is 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 good for your health, you know. I you know I, that's correct in English, but in Spanish I can't say corriendo is is you know it's bueno para la salud. You know I have to say correr is bueno para la salud. So just little things, little things like that 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 we'll learn today. Awesome. So thank you. <laughs> This is fantastic. I'm excited about this. So are you using the infinitive then instead of the gerund? It, it, well, it depends. There's a lot of, there, there are a lot of, there are some examples where you can use. For Spanish, I meant. Just say that one more time, Bob. For Spanish, are you using the, the infinitive instead of the gerund? Well, in certain cases. In certain in, cases. In, speci in specific cases. Yes. Now, now when I, now when I'm talking about the, G, yes, when I, now, yes, that, yes, that, that's. You, okay. you gave an example, the coriander. I wasn't sure if that was the um, okay. infinitive Corriente. or what it was. Okay. Well, correr is the Cor infinitive. Well, that's the right. Okay. Corriendo is the, is the gerund or heroin. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Now, and so just, let me ask another, you this. And, and as far as the, pre well, this basic rule on the present progressive, like, you know, I'm cooking right now. Estoy cocinando. I can only, you can only use the present progressive in Spanish if it's something you are doing right now in the moment. Oh. Okay. You can only use, that's the only time you can use the present progressive. It's something you're doing right now, not something you're going to do tomorrow or you're going to do an hour from now. You can't, you know, you can't say, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to be running, you know, whatever you can't, you, you have to, you have to, the present progressive is for, um, right now, if you're doing no. the, the act, whatever it is right now. Uh huh. So Bryce, is that the cue to know when to use the gerund rather than the infinitive? Because it's something that you're doing right now. Any other instance? Yes. Yeah, well, the present progressive. There's there are many cases that you can use the gerund by itself. Mm -hmm. You know, like if I like if someone calls me and uh, you know they say uh, what's up, you know, and I'm and I'm just like I could say, you know, what's up is basically like what you're doing, you know. So I could basically say, you know, just um, escuchando escuchando música, you know. I could say because I'm doing it right now, you know. I, I could say, you know. It's something or estoy escuchando or escuchando música or something, but I'm doing it right now in the moment. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you could say <clears throat> estoy trabajando like right this very minute, but I can't say estoy trabajando mañana. Correct. That's okay. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's my girl. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give her some cheers. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, so we learn by examples and awesome. the, the, the right. examples will help you help you out. I mean, I'm explaining a lot of it, but the examples will will show. And here we okay. go. All right, we're gonna jump in. Uh get rid of some of the extra stuff here. All right. Uh can everybody read that? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, Everybody knows the drill, what we do here. 
Uh, you can participate or you can just hang back and listen. It's whatever's comfortable. You can talk in English or in Spanish. Yo hablo demasiado en inglés. Necesito hablar más en español, pero estamos aquí. Okay. Bueno, entonces, número uno. Just one, one real quick thing. Okay. Now, there are certain, there. I put it an example like, well, we'll get to it, but there are certain examples of where it, it, it will, it will, it's kind of, it will kind of challenge that rule, but it still applies. But but let's go and we'll talk about it when we get to it. Fantastic. So what does number one mean? It sounds, you know, kind of uh, like, it's, like uh, this doesn't. Uh, can, like, I, can I try? It, yeah. So probably not a literal translation, but what is it? Yeah. Can I try, James? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it says, <clears throat> Bailer es lo mío. It means like Dancy's Michael Fox T or something. Yeah. Is it that? Dancing is my thing. Dance is mine. My thing. Dancing is my thing, you know. Like something, I'm good at okay. dancing. So dancing is my thing. Yeah. Now you see how there, when we, when we translate it, it's using the gerund. But in yeah. Spanish, it's using the infinitive. Gotcha. Got so it. if you say bailando es yeah. lo mío, that would be incorrect. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would think that it would be bailando. But that's only if I'm dancing right now, right? Bailando ahora. You know, you can see, yeah, you can say it while yeah. I'm dancing right, right so now. So you have to say it. It's, uh, it's in general, like, dancing. Dancing is yeah. my thing. Uh, yeah, uh, to dance is my thing. Maybe is uh, it's hard to translate literally, right? Yeah, you can't mm. really translate, but but it does mean dancing is. I'm gonna my say thing. to dance is my it. You, you, are you, are you, are you, are you, That's what I have. Okay, because you know what I'm trying to impart here is this literal word for word. We don't want that. What we want to do is kind of look at Bryce's examples here and get a feel for what sounds right or be more comfortable with what just sounds right, all right? Bailar es lo mío, right? And if you Okay, you're people, here, let's practice the word bailar, okay? Because everybody is pronouncing that like bailar, okay? It's bailar. 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 You can turn on your camera, Anna. Bailar. Bailar. Thank you. Bailar. 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 Bailar is, of course, a meaning. No, bailar. 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 Yeah. Bailar is everything. Yes. Okay. So if we if we have to say like I'm learning dancing, so how we say like uh, uh, hablando como uh, yo hablando como como que bailar, or if you say you're learning to dance, you're you know um, you know aprendo a bailar, aprendo a bailar. Um, you say I'm learning to dance, uh, but if, but if, but if you're doing it right there in the moment, yes, that's the way aprendiendo a bailar. Yeah. Yeah. A bailar. Okay. Can you say como bailar? Not in how this. to dance basically. Como que bailar. No, uh, aprendiendo a bailar is is the way. So I would I'm say. learning to dance is okay, but I'm learning how to dance is not okay. Yes, yeah, you, yeah, yes, you can't say como because uh, so, the aprender in in this case has to be followed by the preposition. Ah. Okay. okay. Let's see. Is he amazing? Like he's like a no, no. Like he a, is. He is no. like a he's grammar he's book. Thank you. Yeah, he <laughs> is like a. Te vas <laughs> He's like a grammar yeah. clap of rice. I, I tell him. I, I I tell him that. You know. I continue telling him that. Yep. He's a grammar geek. <laughs> <laughs> It's incredible. All right. I'm so jealous. Okay. But he's put in the time. He's put in the work. Okay. 
I almost always end up eating before I go to bed. Boy, that is me. Okay. Boy, that's a hard one. Almost always end up eating. Oh, this is going to be good. How now do think we... of think about the past? We worked on <laughs> saying this in a certain form. Mm -hmm. Who wants to have a go at this? Maybe we'll get one of the Spanish speakers to do this. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, <laughs> William. William, did okay. you want to try this? And the translator no. is: uh, Yo casi siempre finalizo de comer antes de ir a la cama. Lucasi. So much easier. No, well, right here, okay. okay. Well, is that is that what he he said? The reason why I'm asking is because that's stopping. Termino, termino de comer is stopping. Now, termino comiendo. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Yes. Right. 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 That's why I said this will kind of challenge the rule because you're not you're kind of talking about something you do, you're using the gerund, but you're not talking about something you're doing right now, but you're talking about something you would do in the, in the moment, so. James, yeah, absolutely right, right because uh, the eating is, and uh, the, the verb is in the tense of present progressive, and termino de comer is no, it's, you're absolutely right, James. Thank, thank you. Thank you, William. Great, great, great. Could you say ecostarme? Yes, you could say uh you could say that, yes. Antes de acostarme. De acostarme. Mm -hmm. All right, so what did we all learn from this sentence? I don't know. Okay. So to end up, I end up doing something end up basically becomes finished right yeah. I, I end up know. doing something so for the yeah. spanish speakers para los hispanohablantes okay nosotros usamos end up like um how can how can we describe this yeah. I end up, it's it's like it happens. It's an accident. It's not intentional. Mm. Well, it, it, it can it it doesn't it can be intentional. It's just it's just what did you what did you do after you know someone asks you what did you do uh after I left, you know, I ended up reading a book. Okay. You know. You know, terminé leyendo un libro, for example. Well, as you use the past, but you know, it's just that's just that's just how you. I would think of it just in those simple terms. Um, terminar plus uh, a gerund means I end up whatever that gerund is. So, how would you distinguish this from I finished eating? Well, because I finished eating is has it's a different structure. That's terminar de comer. Okay. Terminar de comer is I you know finished eating. Termino de comer, you know, or I finished eating, terminé de comer. Okay. So it's a, a dip, so you just have to you think of it in different structures. When I think of finishing something, I think of terminar de. When I think of ended up ending up doing something, I think of terminar plus the gerund. Okay. I mean, that's 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 all that I do right there. Just, just think of it in two different forms because it's because it is. Is that right? Terminé de comer. Yes, I finished eating. Yes. Okay. So so that's what I wanted to highlight, right? Um, I almost always finish uh, eating or end up eating, right? Terminó comine, uh, comiendo. Uh, finish eating, right? Terminó de comer. Okay, she's already got it in here. Never mind. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say something. End up is when you decide to do something. Okay. Yes. And finish eating is like you finish an action. 
Okay, it was what this is what uh, William translated before. Yeah. I almost always finish eating or finish my food before I go to sleep. So finish in this case, uh, specify that you are um, ending a uh, or finishing a action. And the other, the first one is that you are at the last minute, you decide to do that. You decide to do something. Okay, I'll agree with that. So what happened to Joe? Joe was here. Asalia, send uh, send Joe a message and say what happened. He was here and then he left. Okay. Okay. All right. Number three. Odio. May I try to? Oh, of course. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna take a try at it. So um. Odio manejar por el centro por el tráfico. I hate driving into town through traffic. Mm -hmm. Because of the traffic. Because of the traffic. Thank you. Yeah. Because of the traffic. You're welcome. I hate driving into town. I hate driving downtown. Well, because of the traffic, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so obviously, I'm sorry, James. Mm -hmm. Would uh, would you use para? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bobby. You interrupt. Would uh, would para be used in that case? Para para el tráfico? No, uh, not, not in this, not in this case. Okay. So this is a fantastic thing to get used to. The difference between por and para. Sometimes the it doesn't necessarily make sense. So just repeat this. Uh, 200 times so it just sounds right yes okay yeah because, if, because of the if, traffic or el traffic or el yes. traffico. Por means throw the traffic okay you're part of that and para yeah. in that case will specify the direction where you are going podio manejar para um para el centro comercial o hacia el centro comercial okay so para um uh, it, it will specify a direction and for going through uh, something in this game, through the traffic. Um, for example, Odio uh, manejar para mis hijos. Okay. So I'm driving for my kids. Okay. It's no through my kids. <laughs> okay. Because I'm not going through the traffic in this case. Before. So yeah. uh, basically I'm saying that I'm I hate to drive for them because maybe they are noisy, they are complaining all the time, <laughs> because whatever there is a reason. So you you it's like a direction or in this case to for someone. Or kind of someone. the difference between towards and because. Right. Or, yeah, there. Okay. You let him in. There he goes. Just uh, just another one, real, real quick, just since we're talking about that. This is I didn't put this as an example because it's it's pretty basic. Anytime you say thank you for something, you it's it's por instead of para. Like I say, thank you for helping. Thank you, thank you for helping. Gracias por ayudar or ayudarme. You know, thank you for helping me or thank you for you know for being here. Gracias por or, or estar aquí. Thank you for inviting. You know, just. So, okay. gracias por. Because I've seen people say gracias para. I've seen people say that, but it's gracias por. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bryce. You're welcome. You're welcome. That won't ever change. That that one won't ever change. <laughs> uh, always be gracias me, por. Let me, let me try and get this uh, highlighted right. There we go. Thank you for. Gracias por. So this is this is this is something you just take Bryce's word for it and you sit because he knows everything. And no, I don't know everything. And you just say because <laughs> Bryce said it's always poor, then you go, it's gracias por, gracias por this, gracias por that, gracias por that. If that helps you remember it, I mean that's fantastic, right? It's always gracias por. And if plus, you infin to, plus infinitive. And if you need gracias a reason, por Bryce. <laughs> gracias por no. Bryce. Yes. Sí, gracias Thank por you, Bryce. Thank you for emphasizing it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. 
And, and no, I, you know, I say this a little bit jokingly, but kind of seriously also, because there's so many times somebody asks me why I say something a specific way in English. And my answer is because that's what my mother taught me. Right. Okay. When I was growing up, my mom always said it this way. She was well-educated, you know, and she said, this is it. You know, no, you don't say it like that. You say it this way. And sometimes that's what I run with is like, I don't know the exact reason, but that's what my mom said. So, you know, Bryce can be your language mom. <laughs> or that. Bryce, here's some Bryce. Okay. Have you seen Mateo today? No, this one isn't. Is, this one isn't. You want to jump in? Jump in anytime. You're fine. Okay. Thank you, Doug. Okay. Now, everybody's familiar with this ah, this ah, Mateo. Mm -hmm. Is that comfortable for everybody? Okay, great. All right. Um, <clears throat> that was too easy, Doug. Do another one. <laughs> well, there's the answer to it. I, I put that one, that fourth example, as a question and answer. And the, and the what we're working on is actually in the answer. Okay. But <clears throat> so it's still your turn, Doug. Um, well, well, we. Justo después de hablar contigo. Yes. Yep, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, it, and I put the two different ways that it's said in English. I saw him right after I talked to you this morning. Um, I saw him right after talking to you this morning. Both of those are very common ways of speaking. So, but they both translate to the exact same thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So Raquel, sometimes like I saw him. Okay. Lo vi justo después de hablar. Nosotros tenemos dos opciones. Okay. Just after I talked to you or right after talking to you. Right, right after, just after, just as, just after is okay also. Right, so mm -hmm. you're, you're going to hear either way, either way. Okay. Uh, so do number five can, for us, Raquel, do number five. Wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you say, because I thought we learned sometime before that Akabar Day has just finished something. Can it's you say, uh, so can I say your Akabo Day, um, I don't know how you'd say exactly, how you say, but can you use Akabo Day? Okay. Well, that's okay. A, just, <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead, James. We're gonna so there's a, there's a couple things here. All right. First, the, first, the actual question. So can you say that, Bryce? Can you say, yo acabo de comer? No, well, you can say, yeah, if you well, say I just ate, oh, that's just that's, fun. that's a different. Like I just got here. If I say I just got here, acabo de llegar. I just I just ate. Acabo de comer. That's just saying you just did something. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the other thing, Manish, say acabo. Acabo. So here's the difference between acabo and acabo. Here's acabo. 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 Okay. Acabo. In Spanish, Acabo. the second to the last syllable, the penultimate syllable, is normally emphasized. Acabo. Okay. Okay. Acabo. Now, what Anna just put down here, if you say acabo, right, what does that do to the word? How does that change it? Past tense. Past, tense. Past, tense. Past tense. Right. So you see why it matters, Manish? It, it's like um, yeah. if you say acabo de, 
versus acabode, right? One is present tense, the other is past tense. So it matters which syllable that you emphasize. Right. Cool? Yep. Great. Thank you. Great. Okay. Okay, who was I picking on for number five? Raquel. Okay, Raquel. good. <laughs> Don't forget, James. <laughs> Me gusta poder trabajar en diferentes departamentos en lugar de solo uno. Mm -hmm. Me gusta poder trabajar en diferentes departamentos en lugar de solo uno. I like... I like... I like... In, I like being able to walk. Exactly. Yes. In different departments. Departments. Departments is right. Yes. Yes. And places. Uh, in, in, instead. Instead. Yes. Of uh, only one. No. Oh, that's so instead of that's just that's one, that's instead that's of only one, instead of just uh, one. Just one, okay. Good, that's good. Now awesome. I put that specific example. Now, of course, I can just say, me gusta trabajar, but but I did it that way just to show that no, you, know, you can put two infinitives together. No. You know, you know, I want to be able to dance. Quiero poder bailar. You know, you can put you can put two in, in, two infinitives together in some cases in that. Mm -hmm. That's, that's one of them. Poder trabajar. I like being able to work. Mm -hmm. permiso, por favor. Donde este de um, pobre de instead lugar as place, see? Right? You can you can say you can say un lugar de or lugar or de. in vez de. In oh, place. Okay. It's like saying in place of. It's like oh. In... Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. In lugar de. So in, okay. in lugar de or in vez de. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh actually we would not we would not say okay. in place of, but yeah, it, yes. it has that meaning. Okay. Yes. No, yeah, I was just saying so she would recognize it. Yes. She could relate it better. Agree. I, I think so. So instead of a slash, meaning you can do either one, I'm going to put parentheses, which is kind of what we're meaning here. OK, how many people go to the Facebook and watch the recording after we record this for other people? I do Every sometime, time. but not every time. No, not, not every, every time. time. Nobody, sometimes nobody has the extra time hours okay but once in a while uh and so back to your journal uh or even just a piece of paper in this case what you can do is kind of write down the time like in in this roughly where are we at i don't know what the time is we're about 43 minutes past the hour i don't know when i started recording but you can kind of get to the same part of the recording and say i want to listen to that again Right? See. Sí. Okay. Great. <clears throat> okay. So it's not aprendiendo. It's not? <laughs> no, it's not. No. <laughs> it should be yes, good because it's are things, are we, are we, it's the things that we need. Are we understanding today's lesson? I know what it's not. Trying. Aprender cosas nuevas. Es divertido. Divertido para mí. Aprender nuevas. Okay. Yay, Nancy. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. That was a good job, Nancy. Also, another thing I just want to point out real quick, because I, I don't think I put an example of this. Like, for example, you know, you can tell, if you want to tell people to work or tell one person to work, you know, you can say, of course, you can say, you know, instead of being direct, you know, you have to work, tienes que trabajar, you know, you can also say a trabajar, but you can say that for like one or more, 
or more people. I trabaja, I trabaja, let's go, you know, vámonos. To work, to work. Échale mazarina al pastel, ponte las pilas, you know, you can just whatever. <laughs> to work, to work. This is awesome. Okay. Saying <laughs> it's like saying let's or let's get to work, but you can it's just kind of a easy way to say I trabajo. You know, you can be referring to you in, in a group, or you can be referring to a person. I trabajo. Mm -hmm. A trabajar to work. Uh, so for the so we also say get to work. Okay, yes. so would that be any different? Ponte a trabajar. Ponte a trabajar, yes. Ponte? Ponte. Ah, lo voy a escribir. Mi jefe dice eso todo el tiempo. Bullshit. Hey, let's get this shit. Pongámonos a trabajar. Ponete a trabajar en lugar. No, it's, it's the reverse. It's the, oh, it's just, it's get to work, James. Okay. Okay, pasamos todo el día viendo películas de Terminator. I want to do that. Yeah. Okay, Danielle, just jump in. Just jump in. Okay, thank you. Um, I spent the whole day watching Terminator movies. We. Mm -hmm. It's we. Everything except for the we. Oh, we. Oh, forgive me. We spent Sorry. the whole day watching Terminator movies. Yes. Now that's the case where it's it's basically just like it is in English. You, it's, the gerund is used the exact same way. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Great. Sue okay. Morton, Susan Morton, or one other. Okay. <laughs> Uh, next one. Jump in. Jan, you want to try this? Mm, it's muy difícil para mí. Mm. Think, uh, think of the verb. Great. Keep thinking. That keep thinking. No sé. No sé. Think, keep thinking. Think uh, of the verb. Think of the verb. Oh, seguir. Ah. Uh, hmm. Si, sigo, no, no es sigo, no, no? Sigo, sí, yes. Oh, That's sigo? Right. Ah, sigo, sí, sigo, uh, si, uh, sigo pensando que algo es uh, muy, oh. algo es muy bueno, o oh, algo muy bueno. Uh, es, um, es, um, oh, ah, uh, algo muy bueno va a, uh, si, come out, um, um, well, um, happened. Um, like you, I, you get off of work, you know, what time you get out of, get um, out of work. Uh, uh, mm. no, 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 no tengo la respuesta correcta, no sé. Es, es muy complicado, es muy complicado para mí. Este, <laughs> estás aprendiendo. Demasiados, demasiados cláusulas. Okay. <laughs> no, uh... Para mí. Es verdad, es, es, es demasiado cláusulas para mí entender. Okay. No, Bryce uh, is para traducir es difícil para mí. But Bryce is helping you here. So sí. the word is salir, salir, right? Yes, salir. Uh, and then of this. Salir. Oh, ah, va a salir. Well, mm. ¿De eso? De esto. ¿De esto? Ah, yes. okay. So this is... This is great. What does everybody, when, when everybody hears the word salir, what do you think? Salir. Leave. Leave. Yes. Go Leave. out. Leave. Leave. To exit. To, to depart. Go out. Ah, yeah. sí. 
leave, exit, depart. Those are kind of the words that I think of, or the picture I think of when I think of salir from a building, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. And what is the word for come instead of leave? Venir. Venir. Okay. So with this example, the thing that I would be taking away is that in English we say come out of, but in Spanish, the picture in your mind mm -hmm. is to leave out of, right? So that mental picture, something good is going to exit from what's happening, is going, to, is going to leave from what's happening, right? So if you can kind of get that mental picture of okay. however you want to picture that, right? <laughs> this example is a really, a video too, how do you have a really good uh, thing. <laughs> for that switch between the English and the Spanish. Entonces, de inglés a español, sí, también, para nosotros, ¿ok? Venimos, algo va a venir, pero para ustedes, algo va a salir. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Anna, just a few more minutes. Also, something else I wanted to point out, uh, sigo which is you know, for the verb seguir, um, seguir y continuar. Those are, those verbs, those are verbs that it's okay to use the gerund after. That's why I did that. Sigo uh -huh. pensando, I keep thinking. You know. mm. well, could you say, me queda pensar que algo muy bueno va a salir de eso? Okay, say, say that again. I don't. Me, me queda pensar que algo muy bueno va a salir de eso. I, I, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe. No, as in to, I keep. I stay. I think it's Q U A Q U E D A R, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can see. Quiero pensar. Quiero pensar que algo muy bueno va a salir de esto. The first one doesn't make sense. Me queda. Yeah, that doesn't. That's what I said. That doesn't make. Okay. You can't say that. Me quedé pensando. It's past. You you kept thinking. I kept. Um, I kept mm -hmm. thinking. I kept yes. thinking that something good is going to. Come on, okay. I think that's what you wanted to say. Yes, like, that is. I stayed thinking. I continued thinking. Mm -hmm. I, but that that idea of I stayed there stuck. The I was stuck, so key. I kept thinking. Mm -hmm. Can you fix it by making va fuera? Uh, yeah, I thought that too. Okay, Bras I Bras kept I kept thinking something good. Uh, was going to, is that what you're trying to get to? Was yeah. going to happen? He's thinking of outside. I think he's thinking of fuera, like outside. Okay. Okay. Fuera, no, no, not fuera, it's outside. Fuera, F-U-E-R-A. Like the subjunctive, the past subjunctive. Whoa. In, in this case, I, I would just go with salir. <laughs> okay, okay, so. Okay. And normally, um, when you say I kept thinking, get into the hat like for this, it would be good to practice seguir in the past. You know, segui pensando. I kept thinking. Mm, if, if you're trying to speak of the past, okay. segui pensando. Okay. But that's yeah, say ye. I don't the make it a pensando just e, e, yeah, e, e, that's not it's not incorrect, okay? But it's not right for what he brought in uh, number eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you will hear me que pensando que tal vez podíamos ver todas las películas de Terminator un día de esto. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay. Show me importance. Next. No me importa ayudarnos en absoluto. I don't mind helping them at all. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. At all. Oh, yeah. absoluto. Okay. Oh, I thought it meant exclusively. Absoluto. Uh, <laughs> meant absolutely. Like, uh, I absolutely don't mind helping them. Oh, can you give me a hand? Absolutely. All right. Do you mind? Claro. I absolutely do not mind. Yep. Don't mind helping them. Oh, why is that all the way at the end? At all, because it's kind of yes. that at all thing. How much? How much do you mind? Not at all. Right. Is in absoluto mean by itself? What phrase is that? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. Okay. No me importa. No me importa. That is a those three words together, phrasal that they just go together. No me importa. Whatever. Right. I don't mind. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Doesn't doesn't matter, you know. Doesn't matter the to company me. Company is going. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I don't mind. Okay, no me importa. That's that needs to be part of your uh, uh, top ten <laughs> phrases. <laughs> okay, all right. The company is going to continue to grow. Absolutamente. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to try this, but I would need help. Do it. Do it. All right, Ken. So the company is going to continue to grow. Los compañías. How do you say company? One, one company. It's just one right. company. Okay. La compañía es tiene que Tiene, tiene que, no, right? Va, oh, va, va. Okay, <gasps> va, uh, okay, va. Oh, sí. uh, going to continue, like, okay, no, it's going to be, va, uh, mm, continue, continue, mm -hmm. va, uh, continue, uh, so I don't, I don't know the word for grow. Oh, yes, you Crecer. do. You know it, you know it. Crecer. Crecer. Oh, great. Yes. Okay. yes, now remember the rules of what I said about the verbs continuar y seguir. I see. Oh. So, infinitive or ger? Which one is it? Yes. You said that question. <laughs> it's, uh, grow. It, it's one or the other. It's growing. Seguindo. Seguindo. What se ve más bonito? Creciendo. Creciendo. Right. Yes. It's going to grow. Continuar y seguir. Those are you can use. Those are interchangeable. Uh, La empresa. And the reason why I did that is because I've seen people like one time I saw someone say continuar. A aprender, you, you know, or it, that using that structure. So that's that's continue to I learn. Yeah, but so, we'll be continuar, cre, continuar uh, aprendiendo. Continue. So if you if you use seguir instead of continuar, then you would not use. No, no, both of them are the same. They're but you wouldn't same. use creciendo, correct? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can use for growing. Yes, they. Va a continuar creciendo o va a seguir creciendo. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly the same. Yeah. 
the business is going to grow. Thank you, everybody, for the help. Good, good. Question. Okay. One more. We got time for one more. Let's jump in. Well. Oh, okay. Let's do number 12. Somebody, I think Chet said 12. 12. Seeing is believing. Yes. Seeing is believing. There is prayer. Bingo. Say it again. There is prayer. Okay. Good job. Perfect. Okay, that is a that is a great one to finish up with. Everybody can remember that tonight. Everybody. Can take, yeah, that's easy to remember. <laughs> take it, take it to bed, sleep on it. All right, use it. I use it five times tomorrow in your in your daily conversations. Right, veres creer, veres creer. All right. So, well, one yeah. more. Thing. Seeing is believing, like for me, Viendo. I say, ver para creer. Ver para creer. Yes, for para me. Creer. Yeah, to that's see that's is that. to believe. To see is to believe. So, yeah. oh. seeing, seeing is believing. Ver para creer. See to believe. Yeah. See in order to believe, right? In order to, yeah. Mm hmm so which one is the correct like way? Both to... of them. Okay. There for yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Why not? Okay. Why um, not? Um, stop. Share. Okay. Uh, as always, these are outstanding. Um, I hope everybody does uh, get to download uh from from the facebook group tomorrow uh this document um it's just so valuable this exercise is just so valuable if you run into some of these uh further down and you have doubts then start a conversation start a you know a chat or something and uh, either in the facebook group or the whatsapp and uh, let's help each other, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what you doing Gracias. there? Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Okay, <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody have a beautiful and safe week. Yeah. Um, thank you all, and we will Gracias. see you next week. And may all the mothers have a, a blessed Mother's Day. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, yes. Day to all the yes. wonderful mothers and lots of love and regards from here. Me to all mothers and everybody tonight. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Happy Mother's yeah. Day? Happy Mother's Day to how, all wonderful how you, moms. How do you think you say that? Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> Spanish, Feliz Feliz Día de las Madres. Yeah, feliz. Feliz día. De los madres. De madres. De las madres. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank, thank you, Anna. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Buenas noches. Buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches a todos. Peace. Amigos, okay. buenas noches. All right. A ti. Ciao, guys. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.